Yeah, you almost get re-inspired to coach every time you hear an alum talk about Robin. You're like, oh, wow, like she just crushed it. Um, and hearing the alums that have most recently come back, but also just alumni that have come back over the past nine years that I've been here. And they speak about Robin as this incredible figure that they would have run through a brick wall for. My kids know who Robin is. Yes. They, they know that I've been singing her praises forever. Absolutely. My kids that don't, d didn't even go here know who Robin is. Yes. I mean, my, my neighbors at home know who Robin is. I mean, it's <laughs> like she's far reaching. I coached against Robin Shepard for over 20 years in both field hockey and lacrosse. And even in the Title IX era, when Title IX was in its infancy, Robin's teams were incredibly motivated, well-prepared, and competitive in an era when women were not encouraged to be very competitive. The women's game was beautiful. You know, it was free-flowing. There weren't a lot of boundaries. Subsequently, we had to work our rear ends off in practice to make sure that our lungs could take chasing the ball when there was no boundaries. Um, but I think, you know, Robin really understood that the game was morphing. She wanted to be ahead of the curve. Um, she studied some of the elements of the men's game and incorporated it by the game planning. And so I think it, it made all the difference for us in, in establishing a real winning program. I would say fortunately for Trinity, Robin is not a typical retiree. And so Robin is present physically. Uh, we can hear her in the hallways when she's around, and that's important. It's important for us to maintain that link to our proud tradition, and Robin does that. Whether we're here in Hartford or anywhere we go, everyone knows Robin. So Robin, the, the metamorphosis, as I was talking about earlier, from freshman year to senior year, really came about not only in her coaching style, but in her fashion style. I mean, if there was such thing as a Pat Riley of the sidelines, Robin was it. I love looking at old photos of Robin, but more importantly, I love when she walks in the building today. She's still dressed to the nine. She looks so good. She's in blue and gold. She's themed out. I mean, she quite literally bleeds blue and gold. She straddled the parental, coach, friend, mentor in, in such a, a great way that I appreciate more now. We didn't have sororities back then here at Trinity. Um, our sorority was our team and she was like the head of the sorority. She was like the house mother, if you will. Um, and we just loved to be with her. To this day, you're walking down the hall, you hear that voice and you know who it is. And it's instead of E.F. Hutton, you hear that voice and people listen. I think about Trinity and I think Robin is the face of Trinity College. Robin isn't just a coach. Robin isn't just an administrator. Robin really is Trinity Athletics. Uh, for almost a half a century, she has been the common thread that weaves our department together. So my hope is that during my coaching tenure, I presented a challenge to my lacrosse colleagues every time they had to face Trinity on the field. And my other hope is that myself and my team treated the officials with the respect and courtesy that they certainly deserve. Uh, but most importantly, I hope that every athlete who ever played on my Trinity lacrosse teams felt respected and valued. Uh, whether they were starting All-American or the last kid off the bench, uh, they were an integral part of our team. And I hope they, I hope they felt that. Congrats, Robin. We couldn't be more proud. And uh, as always, you bleed blue and gold for us, and we love you so much. Go Bants!